सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एंटाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज द लेसन फाइव एसिड्स बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट फ्रॉम पेज फोर्टी नाइन टू पेज फिफ्टी सेवन लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन फाइव acids bases and salts page 49 we use in our daily life a large number of substances such as lemon tamarind common salt sugar and vinegar do they have the same taste let us recall taste of some edible substances listed in table 5.1 caution 1 do not taste anything unless asked to do so 2 do not touch anything unless asked to do so table 5.1 there is a table given here in this table there are two columns and 12 rows in the first column you are given a substance in the second column you have to write the taste of the substance is it sour bitter or any other name of the substance lemon juice orange juice vinegar curd tamarind or imli sugar common salt amla baking soda grapes unripe mango cucumber you find that some of these substances taste sour some taste bitter some taste sweet and some salty 5.1 acids and bases curd lemon juice orange juice and vinegar taste sour these substances taste sour because they contain acids the chemical nature of such substances is acidic the word acid comes from the latin word acer which means sour the acids in these substances are natural acids what about baking soda does it also taste sour if not what is its taste since it does not taste sour it means that it has no acids in it it is bitter in taste if you rub its solution between fingers it feels soapy generally substances like these which are bitter in taste and feel soapy on touching are known as bases the nature of such substances is said to be basic if we cannot taste every substance how do we find its nature special type of substances are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic these substances are known as indicators the indicators change their color when added to a solution containing an acidic or a basic substance turmeric litmus china rose petals or gudhal etc are some of the naturally occurring indicators page 50 do you know there is a table given here in this table there are two columns and seven rows 
in the first column we are given name of acid in second column we are given where it is found row 1 acetic acid is found in vinegar row 2 formic acid is found in ants sting row 3 citric acid is found in citrus fruits such as oranges lemons etc row 4 lactic acid is found in curd row 5 oxalic acid is found in spinach row 6 ascorbic acid or vitamin c is found in amla and citrus fruits row 7 tartaric acid this is found in tamarind grapes unripe mangoes etc all the acids mentioned here occur in nature there's another table given here in this table there are two columns and four rows in the first column we have name of base in second column we have where it is found row 1 calcium hydroxide this is found in lime water row 2 ammonium hydroxide this is found in window cleaner row 3 sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide this is found in soap row 4 magnesium hydroxide this is found in milk of magnesia there's a thought bubble given here pictures of paheli and bojho are next to it bojho is wondering can i taste all substances to find their taste paheli answers no have you not read the caution we should not taste unknown substances they could harm us 5.2 natural indicators around us litmus a natural dye the most commonly used natural indicator is litmus it is extracted from lichens they can be observed in figure 5.1a litmus has a mauve or purple color in distilled water when added to an acidic solution it turns red and when added to a basic solution it turns blue it is available in the form of a solution or in the form of strips of paper known as litmus paper generally it is available as red and blue litmus paper these papers can be observed in figure 5.1b figure 5.1a lichens these are green colored plants b red and blue litmus paper page 51 activity 5.1 1 mix some water with lemon juice in a plastic cup or tumbler or test tube 2 put a drop of the above solution on a strip of the red litmus paper with the help of a dropper is there any change in color 3 repeat the same exercise with the blue litmus paper note down if there is any change in color perform the same activity with the following substances tap water detergent solution aerated drink soap solution shampoo common salt solution sugar solution 
vinegar baking soda solution milk of magnesia washing soda solution lime water if possible make solutions in distilled water record your observations as in table 5.2 in your table are there any substances on which litmus had no effect name these substances table 5.2 in this table there are five columns and three rows in the first column you have to write serial number in second column you have to write test solution in third column you have to write effect on red litmus paper in the fourth column you have to write effect on blue litmus paper in fifth column you have to write inference note to prepare lime water take some water in a tumbler and add some lime or chuna into it stir the solution and keep it for some time pour a little from the top this is lime water the solutions which do not change the color of either red or blue litmus are known as neutral solutions these substances are neither acidic nor basic figure 5.2 children performing the litmus test in this picture there are two girls and one boy they are performing the litmus test they have a blue litmus paper with them the litmus paper has changed color turmeric is another natural indicator activity 5.2 1 Take a tablespoon full of turmeric powder. Add a little water and make a paste. Two, make turmeric paper by depositing turmeric paste on blotting paper or filter paper and drying it. Cut thin strips of the yellow paper obtained. Three, put a drop of soap solution on the strip of turmeric paper. What do you observe? Page 52. You can prepare a greeting card for your mother on her birthday. Apply turmeric paste on a sheet of plain white paper and dry it. Draw a beautiful flower with soap solution with the help of a cotton bud. You will get a beautiful greeting card. There's a picture given here. In this picture, we have turmeric paste and soap solution. Someone is making a greeting card with the help of these two things. Similarly, test the solutions listed in table 5.3 and note down your observations. You may try solutions of other substances also. table 5.3 in this table we have four columns and eight rows in the first column we have serial numbers in second column we have written test solutions in the third column you have to write effect on turmeric solution in the fourth column you have to write remarks the first test solution is lemon juice second is orange juice third is vinegar fourth is milk of magnesia fifth is baking soda sixth is lime water seventh is sugar and eighth is common salt china rose as indicator activity 5.3 collect some china rose or gudhal petals and place them in a beaker add some warm water keep the mixture for some time till water becomes colored use the colored water as an indicator add 
five drops of the indicator to each of the solutions given in table 5.4. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Now I understand why a turmeric stain on my white shirt is turned to red when it is washed with soap. It is because the soap solution is basic. Figure 5.3 China rose flour and indicator prepared from it. In this picture, we have a China rose. Three test tubes are standing next to it. In the first test tube, we have acid. In second, we have indicator and in the third one we have base. Page 53 Table 5.4 In this table there are 7 rows and 4 columns. In the first column we have serial number. In second column we have test solution. In third column we have Initial color. In the fourth column, we have final color. You have to fill in the last two columns. The first test solution is shampoo or dilute solution. Second is lemon juice. Third is soda water. Fourth is sodium hydrocarbonate solution. Fifth is vinegar. Sixth is sugar solution. Seventh is common salt solution. What is the effect of the indicator on acidic, basic and neutral solutions? China rose indicator, which can be observed in figure 5.3, turns acidic solutions to dark pink or magenta and basic solutions to green. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli and also Bojo is next to it. Bojo is wondering, I am not getting the same result when using solid baking soda on dry litmus paper. Why? Paheli answers, make a solution of the baking soda and then try. Paheli brought the following Paheli or riddle for you. Coffee is brown and bitter in taste. Is it an acid or a base? Don't give the answer without any test. You are in the dark with its taste. Activity 5.4 The teacher is requested to get the dilute solution of the following chemicals from his or her school laboratory or from a nearby school. Hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid, sodium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide or lime water. Table 5.5 In this table, we have 5 columns and 3 rows. In the first column is serial number. In second column is name of acid. In third column is effect on litmus paper. In the fourth column is effect on turmeric paper. And in the fifth and final column is effect on China rose solution. One item has been given for you in name of acid. It is dilute Hydrochloric Acid Page 54 Are you familiar with the term acid rain? Have you ever heard about damaging effect of acid rain? As the name indicates, the rain containing excess of acids is called an acid rain. Where do these acids come from? The rain becomes acidic because carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide, which are released into the air as pollutants, 
dissolve in raindrops to form carbonic acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid respectively. Acid rain can cause damage to buildings, historical monuments, plants and animals. Caution Great care should be taken while handling laboratory acids and bases because these are corrosive in nature, irritating and harmful to skin. Demonstrate the effect of the three indicators on each of these solutions. Record your observations in Table 5.5. 5.3 Neutralization We have learnt that acids turn blue litmus red and bases turn red litmus blue. Let us see what happens when an acid is mixed with a base. We are going to use an indicator you have not used so far. It is called phenolphthalene. Activity 5.5 to be demonstrated by the teacher in the class. Fill one-fourth of a test tube with dilute hydrochloric acid. Note down its colour. Note down the colour of phenolphthalein solution also. Add two to three drops of the indicator to the acid. Now, shake the test tube gently. Do you observe any change in colour of the acid? Add to the acidic solution a drop of sodium hydroxide solution by a dropper. Stir the tube gently. Is there any change in the colour of the solution? Continue adding the sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop while stirring till the pink colour just appears. Now add one more drop of dilute hydrochloric acid. What do you observe? The solution again becomes colourless. Again, add one drop of sodium hydroxide solution. Is there any change in colour? The solution again becomes pink in colour. It is evident that when the solution is basic, phenolphthalein gives a pink colour. On the other hand, when the solution is acidic, it remains Colourless. Figure 5.4 Process of Neutralization. In this picture, we can observe someone adding base to a test tube filled with acid plus indicator. Next to it is another test tube with pink colour. Page 55. When an acidic solution is mixed with a basic solution, both the solutions neutralize the effect of each other. When an acid solution and a base solution are mixed in suitable amounts, both the acidic nature of the acid and the basic nature of the base are destroyed. The resulting solution is neither acidic nor basic. Touch the test tube immediately after neutralization. What do you observe? In neutralization reaction, heat is always produced or evolved. The evolved heat raises the temperature of the reaction mixture. In neutralization reaction, a new substance is formed. This is called salt. Salt may be acidic, basic, or neutral in nature. Thus, Neutralization can be defined as follows. The reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization. Salt and water are produced in this process with the evolution of heat. So acid plus base gives us salt plus water and heat is evolved. The following reaction is an example. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH, 
gives us sodium chloride which is NaCl plus water which is H2O. Bojo added dilute sulfuric acid to lime water. Will the reaction mixture become hot or cool? 5.4 Neutralization in everyday life Indigestion Our stomach contains hydrochloric acid. It helps us to digest food as you have learned in chapter 2. But too much of acid in the stomach causes indigestion. Sometimes indigestion is painful. To relieve indigestion, we take an antacid such as milk of magnesia which contains magnesium hydroxide. It neutralizes the effect of excessive acid. Ant bite. When an ant bites, it injects the acidic liquid from acid into the skin. The effect of the acid can be neutralized by rubbing moist baking soda which is sodium hydrocarbonate or calamine solution which contains zinc carbonate. Soil treatment Excessive use of chemical fertilizers makes the soil acidic. Plants do not grow well when the soil is either too acidic or too basic. When the soil is too acidic, it is treated with bases like quick lime, which is calcium oxide, or slaked lime, which is calcium hydroxide. If the soil is basic, organic matter or compost is added to it. Organic matter releases acids, which neutralizes the basic nature of the soil. Factory Wastes The wastes of many factories contain acids. If they are allowed to flow into the water bodies, the acids will kill fish and other organisms. The factory wastes are therefore neutralized by adding basic substances. Page 56 Keywords Acid Acidic Base Basic Indicator Neutral Neutralization Salt What you have learnt 1. Acids are sour in taste. Generally, bases are bitter in taste and soapy to touch. 2. Acid turns blue litmus red. Bases turn red litmus blue. 3. Substances which are neither acidic nor basic are called neutral. 4. Solutions of substances that show different color in acidic, basic and neutral solutions are called indicators. 5. An acid and a base neutralize each other and form a salt. A salt may be acidic, basic or neutral in nature. Exercises 1. State differences between acids and bases. 2. Ammonia is found in many household products such as window cleaners. It turns red litmus blue. What is its nature? 3. Name the source from which litmus solution is obtained. What is the use of this solution? 4. Is the distilled water acidic, basic or neutral? How would you verify it? 5. Describe the process of neutralization with the help of an example. 6. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. 1. Nitric acid turns red litmus blue. 2. Sodium hydroxide turns 
blue litmus red 3 sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid neutralize each other and form salt and water 4 indicator is a substance which shows different colors in acidic and basic solutions 5 tooth decay is caused by the presence of a base 7 dorji has a few bottles of soft drink in his restaurant but unfortunately these are not labeled he has to serve the drinks on the demand of customers one customer wants acidic drink another wants basic and third one wants neutral drink how will dorji decide which drink is to be served to whom 8 explain why a an antacid tablet is taken when you suffer from acidity page 57 b calamine solution is applied on the skin when an ant bites c factory waste is neutralized before disposing it into the water bodies 9 three liquids are given to you one is hydrochloric acid another is sodium hydroxide and third is a sugar solution how will you identify them you have only turmeric indicator 10 blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution it remains blue what is the nature of the solution explain 11 consider the following statements a both acids and bases change color of all indicators b if an indicator gives a color change with an acid it does not give a change with a base c if an indicator changes color with a base it does not change color with an acid d change of color in an acid and a base depends on the type of the indicator which of these statements are correct one all four two a and d three b c and d four only d extended learning activities and projects one using the knowledge of acids and bases write a secret message with the help of baking soda and beetroot explain how it works hint prepare baking soda solution in water use the solution to write the message on a sheet of white paper with a cotton bud rub a slice of fresh beetroot over the message 2 prepare red cabbage juice by boiling a piece of red cabbage in water use it as an indicator and test the acidic and basic solutions with it present your observations in the form of a table 3 bring the soil sample of your area find out if it is acidic basic or neutral discuss with farmers if they treat the soil in any manner 4 visit a doctor find out the medicines he prescribes to treat acidity ask him how acidity can be prevented did you know each cell in our body contains an acid the deoxyribonucleic acid or dna it controls every feature of the body such as our looks color of our eyes our height etc proteins that build part of our cells are also made of amino acids the fats in our body contain fatty acids 
the chapter 5 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here narrator akash ahuja producer vandana arimardan presented by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india